Press.com. I'm Eric. And, you know, I've got in front of me two slow cookers, and I love both, and I love the convenience that a slow cooker offers. Um, you know, they make leaving for work uh, with the ingredients just tossed in the pot, and then you come home to a meal, and it's like somebody's been there all day long doing it for you. It's great convenience, and you just have to put together the final fixings to get it done. In this case, we've got the little one that uh, we've got some pulled pork in, and it's been working all day. It's actually one of the, the end butts of uh, all that uh, pork loin that we got a couple months ago, and uh, ground most of the stuff, but kept the nicest stuff for either pork chops or to be uh, just whole as uh, a little mini roasts. So we've got one in the slow cooker, and I've got my larger one that'll handle a whole pork loin. Um, and here normally, you know, being uh, uh, sort of a Tim the Toolman Taylor guy, I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, the bigger one is always better, right? But in a lot of cases, the little one actually gets a lot more use. Sure, this one is fantastic when you're having a whole big group over or something like that, but for a regular family meal, often the small one does it without ever needing to go and have, uh, you know, once you've got your fixings and your sides done, you don't have leftovers with this. And sometimes you don't really feel like leftovers or you only feel like leftovers for one or something like that. So consider, you know, these are super cheap. The big ones are cheap too, um, but the little ones can be really cheap, especially when they come on sale. So consider picking one up and making your life a whole lot easier and more efficient by having this do the cooking work for you and coming home to a home-cooked meal. So for more on this and other cool things to empower your independence, go to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.